And welcome everyone, thank you very much for joining me on the latest episode of Transfer Talk. I just want to say a big shout out and thank you very much to everyone that subscribed and for everyone that's joining me today on this episode. Alright everyone, uh, yeah, Transfer Talk, if you're new to the channel I just talk about, I picked the, the most reliable and best sources really on Liverpool transfer news and any transfers for Liverpool Football Club, but yeah. Thank you very much for the uh, subscribes and the likes on all of my videos, as usual. Uh, and if you're a new subscriber, um, I don't know what corner is. I think it's one of these corners. There's a I've designed a logo. Don't know how I've done it, but I think you can just click subscribe if you if you want to. It'd be boss if you can uh, get on the bandwagon, join the family, and get involved. That's what we love. Well, thank you everyone for all the comments. I'll try and get back to you, and try and get back to every single comment anyway. But so we can all discuss. That's the best thing about it. Everyone like on my last video as well. I loved all the comments. Some people didn't agree with me. Like that's like that's fine. Like, like it's football is a game of opinions. Everyone, it's important. Everyone has different opinions. If everyone had the same opinion, f football and anything in general would be a bit boring anyway. So, but yeah, uh, if you haven't checked out my last video, it was just three potential, not potential, but like three transfer, three free transfers for me that I'd maybe not like out and out go for, but maybe if if we had the chance to sign. But yeah. Check that out if you want. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed that. And on this episode, as you can see from the thumbnail, there's four players. They might take your fancy. There's Mbappe. I'll talk about Dusan, Dusan Tadic from Southampton, the left side of the midfielder. Oxlade Chamberlain uh, from Arsenal. And the big man, uh, Costa from Bayern Munich. So I've got four articles that I'll talk about in a minute. But some of those names are a bit exciting, aren't they? But yeah, here we go. Right. The news coming out of Liqui, Liquip, sorry, and if there's any French fans, I can't, I'm not that French. <laughs> uh, but yeah, news coming out, um, Liquip is saying, Liberal are determined to recruit at the highest level this summer. And they've apparently talked about Jürgen Klopp having a strong, like strong um, presence in the transfers. Apparently he's talked to Mbappe's camp. Ali, again, you can check out the, uh, the story below, but this... Uh, like if you this lad, if anyone's not seen him this season in Champions League, this lad is special. All the teams around Europe, but Mbappe, he's only right. Let's get his stats up. He's he's just broke. Well, he started in 2015. He made his breakthrough into that mon famous Monaco team. Um, so he started in Monaco two from 15 16. He made 12 appearances for the Monaco second team and scoring four goals. And in the same season, 15. To the 17 now, um, he's played 40 and scored 16. So he's just fluctuating between like the second team and the first team. So he's in and out really. But and he's played for the French under 17s, French under 19s, and he's made three senior appearances for the French national team. If you haven't seen him, go and check him out. But he's been in that Monaco team, but he was one of the standout players this season in the Champions League. Yeah, he scored against Juventus. Um, which was a cracking achievement. Everyone was like, oh, can he score against one of the big teams in Europe? But yeah, um, even though he crashed out, but he, he managed to score against Jean-Louis Buffon. Uh, yeah, so check that out. That would be it. Let me know, would you like to see Mbappe? Like, where, how much would you pay for him? Like, he's one of the hottest prospects in European football at the minute. He, he, um, he's so quick. He reminds me a bit of like a... When Michael Owen broke in, uh, when he was very young, a young Michael Owen, he's quick. This Mbappe, but let me know. I'll leave the the story down the down downstairs, yeah, in the comment section. But check that out. That'd be amazing. That's one of the players we got a couple of weeks ago. We got linked with him, and um, but this another story's come out in Lequeep today. So check that out. That'd be amazing. But Jurgen Klopp is meant to be quite. I think unless he, it's talking about his like his presence and his determination, like, he's just wanting, for him personally, he is wanting the transfers to get done himself. He's not going to be leaving it up to anyone else. That's what the Lequip is getting, uh, quoting. Apparently, Klopp's been into the um, Mbappe's camp and has spoke to his agent uh, a lot more, so uh, keep an eye out on that. So that's Mbappe maybe coming, uh, being linked. And this is, this is a very good one, this one. Uh, this is Bayern Munich sign... Former Arsenal winger Sergio Gnabry freeing up Liverpool to sign Douglas Costa. And he's a winger and an half as well. <laughs> Gnabry, he's gone to Bayern Munich. Let's see if he's moved officially. Right. Uh, yeah, he's joined Bayern Munich, paving the way for the Liverpool, uh, the in-demand Douglas Costa to maybe 
leave the club. Let me know. Are you a fan of Costa? Have you seen him play? I've seen him play, and he is. Uh, he was in that Shakhtar Donetsk team, wasn't he? With um, all the other lads before they all moved to like all around Europe. It was a it was a tax area that we tried to get like last season or season before. Um, he moved to China. Um, uh, what was it? Willi Willian, Willian, um, and he was in that group, wasn't he? Uh, with all of them in that um, Shakhtar Donetsk team, they had so many amazing Brazilians. But Douglas, obviously, I'm surprised. I don't know how much buying got him for, but it wasn't for like a ridiculous amount. I think he managed to sign him for about twenty to thirty million, which at the time I was like, Phew, that's a bit cheap, like compared to how much Shakhtar Donetsk sold. I think with Fernandinho to City, I think they sold Fernandinho for the uh, forty. 30 million, which was crazy money back then. Um, but yeah, um, let's get his stats up. Where is he? Douglas. So yeah, Douglas Costa. He started is he's only five foot seven and he's twenty six years old, so he's going into his prime years as a winger. But yeah, he's played played for Gremio in two thousand eight to two thousand ten, made twenty nine appearances and two goals. And from 2010 to 2015, as I mentioned, he played for Shakhtar Donetsk. He played 141 and scored in 29 for the Shakhtar Donetsk, which is not too bad. It's like, especially if he's playing winger. But you've you've seen if you've not seen him play, go and watch. Just he's so rapid that 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 is ridiculous. Imagine having Mane on one side and Douglas Costa, and that would be ridiculous. That would be <laughs> that would be a naughty attacking force. So let me know if you'd want to see him as well. But yeah, I'm at Bayern from 2015 to 17. At the current time, uh, time he's made 50 appearances and scored in eight. And he's played for Brazil under 20s in 2009. Uh, he scored four in 12 appearances for them. And in 2014 onwards uh, for the Brazil national team, he's played 18 and scored three. So it's not too bad of a record, really. Yeah, he's, as I mentioned, Grimero. Uh, Gremio, sorry. Uh, Lucas, as in one of my previous videos, he was getting linked back to them. Um, that'd be a bit... So we haven't checked that. Lucas um, linked to Gremio. Check that out. It'd be sad to see him go. But yeah, Douglas Costa, he would be for me and you. Let me know if you'd... Is, um, would that be the right quality of player for you, personally? It would be for me. He's If you're not seeing him, as I said, check him out. He, this lad is going to be... One hell of a player. Even though he's 26, he's going to his prime years, as I mentioned. But defo, check him out. And uh, Jürgen Klopp is getting reported in the Echo today. Jürgen Klopp ready to smash Liverpool transfer record for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. This is a lad that I've rated for years. Let me know if he's like, he's such a good player. I don't know. I don't know if he's rumored to be a Liverpool fan. I might be completely wrong, but if he is, yeah, can put a word in that. Um, it's surprising now he doesn't really he hasn't really got been last season and the season before he's not been getting like out and out starting starting getting in that starting eleven for Arsenal. Um, for the quality of player he is, he can play more more central. I think from what I've seen, he can play central, but I think he wants to play a more central role. I think this is where. If Jürgen Klopp was going to bring him in, you talk about in the echo, like it developing more into a, a centre mid, centre attacking mid, so he can like he's got the pace to burst forward the first five yards, it'd be rapid. But I think he's uh, like Jürgen Klopp is ready to smash Liverpool's transfer record in a last ditch attempt to stop Alex Oxlade Chamberlain signing a hundred k contract at Arsenal. Is report despite the midfielder having just twelve months remaining on his current deal at the Emirates. The Reds are said to be willing to splash out forty million for his services. Klopp is open to have a couple of aces up his sleeve when it tries when it comes to try and convince the twenty three year old move uh, up north. The most obvious law is the Champions League football, in which next season the Gunners will not have. Um, it was the first time in the absence in nineteen years for the Arsenal. Me personally, I he, he would fit very well into our system. Attacking pace, pace, pace. But the, if you, you, we've all watched Alex play for Arsenal, and he is one hell of a player. And he's only twenty three years old. Put it that way. So he's not. He's got so many years ahead of him. So let me know. Would you really like to sign him? Yeah, he's twenty three. He started off at Southampton. Yeah, another Southampton player. <laughs> and don't tell me you've seen the form there. You, we're talking about another Southampton player later. Um, I think we should have like um, oh, <laughs> it's ridiculous how he transfer. Uh, Southampton players, uh, it's no joke, but there is one later. But yeah, he started off at Southampton from 2010 to 2011. He made 36 
appearances for the Saints in that in that time and scoring nine. And then he moved to Arsenal in 2011, made 129 appearances, scoring nine goals. And obviously he's played for the England under 18s, 19s, under 20s, and the national team the the first time. So he's got he's not got too bad of a record for the national team. As uh, he's played 26 and scored six. I think did he, did he score? I think yeah, he scored for the uh, for us against Scotland, didn't he? For England. So let me know, Alex Osley Chamberlain. If would you be happy with us smashing uh, our transfer record of obviously having Andy Carroll for 35? Well, for me personally, for his age. Alex Oxley Chamberlain, we've seen his quality in class. Where would you think he'd let me know if you if you if we did sign him uh, and we put that money in, where would you really like to see him play? Would you like to see him I think he got more, a bit frustrated playing out wide for Arsenal, but would you like to see him in a more Adam Lallana position change? Like he's more in in between like the forward line and the like the deep line midfielder. Um so he'd just like pick up the ball and just He's got more space. He's got the pace as well. But as I mentioned, it'd be very welcome for me personally. Let me know for Alex Oxley chamberlain And right, the last one I'll bring you is Dusan Tadic. We've been linked um, in the H- HITC. Um, it's getting reported. Liverpool want Dusan Tadic. Uh, and he, the player would apparently welcome a move. Yes, and it says, in, <laughs> uh, yes, Southampton... Liverpool will have to see one of your players again. That's what it said in the article. The, uh, the journalist he's put in here. According to the Times, Liverpool planning another raid on the Premier League rival Southampton for Dusan Tadic. The Reds may have stepped up the like stepped out of the race, but um, for the uh, Virgil Van Dijk, it's saying here. I don't know. Um, I'll be doing another video on that. So let me know. Just people, half of us and half of us are like, yeah, we might be calling Southampton's bluff on Virgil, but yeah. Let me know who you've seen Dusan Tadic play. He's predominantly a left-handed sided uh, player. He let's see, he played for uh, FC Twenty, so he's he's twenty eight. So he he's he's into his back the prime years really of a, uh, a player. So he started off at Groningen, um, making seventy two appearances, scoring four, 14 goals. That was from two thousand ten to two thousand twelve, so two years there. And from two thousand twelve to two thousand fourteen, he was playing for the FC Twenty in the Dutch league. He played 70, scored 29 goals, which is very good record. I'll tell you that. He was good on fantasy football. If you haven't got him, I think I had him last season. For Southampton, he got me a load of points. <laughs> anyway, yeah, and then he moved from 20 in 2014 to Southampton. And he's on. Uh, he's there now at the minute. He's played 98 games, scoring 14 goals for the left-sided um, Serbian. Yeah, so for Serbian as well, he scored. He's played 43 games, scored in 12. Let me know. He he's more. He can be changed into attacker mid um, from what I've seen. Like, he is very good at wide and he's got a quality delivery. So, another one. Another Southampton player. This is getting ridiculous. I think we might as well buy Southampton Football Club if we carry on at the, getting linked with all these players. But let me know. Would you really like to see Dusan Tadic in a red shirt? And it's not meant to be for quite a lot, really, as well. It's just so you can see. For 13 million, we've been linked. As again, I'll leave their the story downstairs in the description. But yeah, I'd, I'm quite happy with these four ones. All four of these, for me personally, would definitely improve what we've got. Like, for what we're going into European competitions this this coming season, it's very important that we need, we've got strong squad of death. Players that will bring it on, make a huge impact. Mbappe, Tadic. Costa and uh, Alex Osley Chamberlain, all four of them would be class. And no matter how much money it costs, if we did actually have the opportunity and we did sign any any one of those four, that would be a huge statement. Maybe not Tadic, but the other three, Mbappe, Costa, or Alex Osley Chamberlain, they they are the signs that we should be going to going for. Like no no offense to Keane. Uh, um, the centre back, he's a good player, and I'm sick and tired of us maybe like going for like players that maybe get in the bench and they're coming to Liverpool and not performing to like the highest standard because it is a lot, isn't it? Coming to Liverpool Football Club, you need to be at top of your game every single match. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below, and thank you very much everyone for joining me. Oh, quick shout out to Dominic Solanke and the lads in the under 21. Under 20s uh, for winning the World Cup against Venice, Venezuela. That was amazing. I watched it and wow, wow, we have got a player on our hands, everyone. If you haven't, if you didn't see it, watch 
watch watch a couple of highlights of the air tournaments and Dominic Solanke. He, we have um we, that is our first official signing coming first of July. We've signed him pre pre contract uh, agreement from Chelsea. The, if you haven't seen me, I've done a little video on my channel uh, of Dominic Solanke when we did sign him. That phone better not go off again. Uh, yeah, so check that out. Um, but yeah. So he's, he got golden, what was it, let's have a look, yeah, so against Venezuela, Calvin Lewis, the uh, Everton striker scored for England as well, getting a winner, what a goal, um, their keeper was, it was a ridiculous paddy one, um, if you didn't see it, like he paddied it and then he, he, yeah, he slotted it away, but yeah, Dominic Solanke, our official signing for, uh, from Chelsea, he got his player of the tournament, and get on these players that have actually won a uh, player of the tournament, maybe if he's like caddies on the progressing in his career these are the players Maradona Messi Pogba they won the golden um, the golden ball in the competition in the 21s World Cup in the past by God if he was even half the player Messi was that would be amazing like oh Maradona what players but yeah let me know that's off for all the lads England under 20s well done, lads, and thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. I'll try and uh, put, get another video out today. Um, I'll get that out as quick as I can. But thank you very much, everyone, for liking and subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, give it a cheeky like and subscribe. Join the family, as always. You're very welcome. And that's the end of a transfer talk for today. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you later. Ta-da. Woo!